Okay, so today uh, I will talk uh, about beam or configuration on Jumbo. Um, I will show you guys how you can configure. I have been add you more configuration to your beam RC which can increase your productivity. And also we will talk about some plugins that will help you to increase your productivity in BIM. So let's first start with encoding. If you're working on file a lot, then encoding is more important. I'm a web developer, so whenever people upload their files and I download it on my server, I always have encoding problems. Uh, so to avoid that, I just uh, find out in one of the VMC file of one of the web developer on the web that he used this and I just adapt it. So you can set uh, encoding to your VIM itself and a file encoding when you open to uh, open any file to win. Uh, set encoding will set um, encoding um, to your Vim. So how Vim shall represent characters in, in internally. So that's uh, uh, you can set by set encoding. And set file encoding is equal to I mean, UTF-8. This sets the encoding for a particular file. There are two commands, set file encoding and set file encodings. Um, I don't really understand the difference between them, but what I um, can say is set encoding file is just for one file, and the files are for any kind of file. I, I don't know the exact difference. I tried to Google it, but I never understand it, uh, what it stands for. So I just use encode file encodings just for safe side. You use both? Uh, just one, oh. file encodings. Because I, I, I assume file encodings will cover file encoding, so yeah. <laughs> just use what? Maybe um, file encoding is for one file specifically. Yeah. And encodings, for well, in encodings does everybody. Yeah. Um, the next one is uh, line endings. I always struggle with line endings because in my job, researchers doesn't understand the file formats. They just save it in Excel, CSV, Whatever the format they like, they just save it and dump and try to run the program. And <laughs> the program will fail and they complain about, oh, it's not working. And I try to scratch, find out the problem, scratch my head, but and the end is encoding and the file line endings that is not in the Unix format, which my program is expecting. So you can set it by set file format Unix. Uh, when you're reading files, um, you can also set another um, configuration set, set file formats. So you can, if you want to try Unix first and then DOS and then Mac, then you can use set file formats and you can um, um, specify the formats by comma. The next one is remove search highlights. This is annoying. Lately, I, I'm, I'm facing a lot of trouble with this. When you search for any pattern in Vim, and you have that search highlighting which you showed us, it's it's yellow highlights everywhere in my file, and that's annoying. So to avoid that, I found this little configuration which helps you. What this will do is, if you have this in your Vim RC file, you search for a pattern, it will highlight. Once you are done, press Escape, and all highlights are gone. Now you are free bird again to search anything else. And you just search it again. The other uh, big problem I always faced, and I talked to Stephen about it, and he mentioned about that pasting. Whenever you paste some code from one place to another place, doesn't matter if it's SSH or uh, Windows to Unix, doesn't matter. But the spacing uh, does not remain the same as the uh, source, source spacing. I mean indentation and everything because you already said that um, smart indentation, auto indentation in your VMRC file. So whenever you try to copy the pay, uh, copy the code block from one place to another place, it will just use that smart indentation and auto indentation in your file. So your your uh, syntax syntax is right, but the the look of your code block will screw up. To avoid that, you can use set paste and set not paste command. But it's always annoying that to use every time, you know, because many people are doing copy and paste a lot. So how many times they have to use set paste, set no paste? That's annoying. 
So to avoid that, there is another command set paste toggle, and to end, uh, and you can specify to any key which you you frequently use. If so, one if you do uh, copy from one place, you hit F9 into your V V Vim editor, and then paste the code. Once you're done. F9 again and that will uh, give a no paste flip so one time uh, press one time give you paste another time give you no paste so on my MacBook I have to do function F9 yeah that worked fine okay. for me it's worked fine but you just set it to F9 but then you do function F9 <laughs> I have it set to backslash P which is right, annoying because F9 every time is I Put a black I mean, let, let, let's say you work, you're working on Windows system, not Windows system, but a, if you're working on PC and you're working in a party, you have to press F9 because you have a different keyboard right. for your PC, right? Yeah. That's why it's F9, but it, def it depends on your, definitely depends on your system. Well, I have it, like I said, I have it on as a backslash P, but that's no good because uh, any type of backslash, it waits to see if it's a P or not. <laughs> and if you do yeah. press if a P and you want to, Put in backslash page. That's right. That's right. If you wait long enough, it works, but it's I mean, it's this is better. Yeah. So uh, the next one is um, you break the break your line at the hundred column because sometimes you you sometimes I write a long long code, you know, because the string is too long. Let's say you are uh, working on HTML template. And you have paragraphs, and it's just going and going and going and going, and then it's, uh, sometimes it's hard to read. So if you want to break your columns at hundred hundred column, then whenever you reach hundred column, it will just wrap the uh, wrap the word, I mean wrap the line. So for that, you just set set text width is equal to hundred. Probably you showed it um, in in your presentation. I'm not sure, but this is good. Uh, the next one is. How you can highlight the hundred column? So you can you can color 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 code that uh, that column to just show you that this is your boundary, and you can do just by this this little code highlight color column. C term big background is equal to what is is for the terminal, and for the GUI based version is GUI BG is equal to white. And I'll show you when I show you demo of plugins. Uh, you can see that on my BIM, uh, BIM editor, so you can have a better idea. Okay, so next one is uh, plugins. Uh, there are plenty of plugins um, out there which help you uh, to increase your own productivity. Um, I also mentioned Beam Awesome website, which uh, is a cent, which I find is a central location of all the available BIM uh, plugins. You can you can check that out. Uh, the first plugin I want to talk talk with you is Nerd Tree. Uh, what this plugin will do is this plugin allows you to explore your file and directories. It works like a file explorer. Um, it, it will um, give you a hierarchy of your file system on the left side of your film editor when you open it. Configuration one. You don't require to configure anything in your VMRC file. It just work well out of the box. You just install that with your favorite plugin manager and it will work fine. But you can configure it if you want to change the directory colors and file colors. You can configure it. it they provide you a lot of uh, flexibility to configure your nerd tree output. The next one is nerd commenter. I usually found that Putting command, I mean commenting out the code and uncommenting is tough for me. I don't know how to use visual mode because I, I never used it, but I started using it. So how to um, comment a block of code, let's say 10 lines, 15 lines, I don't know. So what I do is I go one by one and comment it. But I figured out this plugin will help me. Um, easy. I don't know how you guys are commenting your code, but what, what language? Uh, for anything, any language. This 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 plugin will work for any okay. any damn language. But you're doing it in Perl. Yeah. So uh, I'll show you in even in HTML templates how you can comment okay. your HTML code 
uh, with this plugin. Um, so this plugin, as I said, allows you to comment and uncomment your code efficiently. They provide you uh, configuration none. You are not required to configure your VMRC file to use this plugin. And it comes with a lot of default key mappings. So of course you need to read it so you can use it. <laughs> Uh, the basic uh, basic uh, key mapping is uh, you use it with your letter key C and space. You use that to comment your code and to uncomment your code. If, uh, I'll show you when I do demo. I'll just show you how you can use it. I change my. Um, you just have to mo modify your letter key if you are not com compatible with the default letter key. The next is light line. And this plugin allows you to configure your status line and tab line, uh, you know, the, the line at the bottom. Which mode are you in? Which column are you in? At what row are you in? So they those kind of information, whether your file is read-write format or read-only format, it will give you all the information and it colors a little. I mean, you can you can do many things with your status bar. Uh, for me, I have to um, the configuration. It requires a little bit con little configuration. Uh, for me, uh, it, it and it also depends on systems. Uh, what color schemes are your system are using? Is two fifty six color base or not? So those kind of things you have to work out. But they have really good detailed uh, documentation how you can configure your uh, status bar using this Nightline plugin. So it's awesome. Just read it. For me, I have to use this two line of code in my VMaster file, and it works fine for me. Um, the next one is a NeoComplete. Uh, it is a, a another auto completion plugin, but I found it is best for me. You can use any anyone. There is a U Complete Me, another uh, auto completion. There is a Omni completion plugin, but I found this is uh, good for me. For HTML, for CSS, for JavaScript, for Perl, for, for Python, maybe for Ruby, you can name it. And uh, they have a com compatibility with those um, languages. Configuration, it requires a heavy configuration. But the good, good um, news is they have all the configuration on their documentation. And you just copy and paste everything to your VimRC and it will run one caveat one requirement uh, you, your vim has to be more than 7.4 version should be greater than 7.4 with lua support if you if you don't have lua support it won't work i'll show you what it will display on your vim if you don't have a 7.4 Greater version, um, version greater than seven before, or if you don't have Lua support, I spend two days or maybe three days to just get this thing working because I have uh, Paul, I mean, which group homebrew, yeah, homebrew for uh, provides Vim seven point four. My system Vim is not seven point four, so I have to download it from homebrew and then. It comes with without Lua support, so to figure out how to get the Lua support, I spend a lot of time. <laughs> Many times I un uninstall the whole thing, I install it again, doesn't work. Uninstall, install, <laughs> try to read a lot of forums, and finally it works out for me. But it's really good. I'll show you a demo on that too. The next one is Wimpol. I'm a Perl program, so I need Perl support. So this plugin support for Perl 5 and Perl 6 in Vim and, and it, does, it does not require any configuration, it just works out of the box. So is, what's the status of Perl 6? What? Is Perl 6 here? No, it is, no it, it will yeah. be here, I mean it some, will be some, out in Christmas, no. that people are talking about that. Real soon now, yeah. right? Yeah. The next one, next one is delimit map. So I'm always looking for feature that in, in Vim which um, uh, provide me auto close of my quotes, parentheses, 
brackets like that. So this plugin provides automatic closing of quotes, parentheses, brackets. And it can it provides a lot more than that, but I'm interested in this stuff. So it solves my purpose. Configuration none. You don't require to configure your VMRC for this plugin, it just works fine. The next one is Mmate Vim. I'm web developer. Kind oh, of. Really? Wow. Kind of. Uh, I work for um, I develop website for my department. So I need so I, I work a lot in HTML using Bootstrap 3 and Foundation and all those kind of uh, frameworks and they require a lot of coding. And it, it's redundant coding, you know. If you have a section of uh, row, then you have row and then columns, columns, columns. So coding just like a traditional way of HTML coding is little cumbersome. So I found this one. Um, there are plenty of them. Snip mat, some other mat, those kind of plugins will provide you a abbreviation for your HTML and CSS workflow. So you don't have to write the entire code, but you just have to use an abbreviation and you hit a, a specific key and it will just work like a charm. I'll show you. This is This is really fancy and good plugin that I like the most. Configuration none. Um, how, how you can use that? Uh, they have a default key mapping, say control control Y and comma will expand the code of whatever abbreviation you provide. When you hit control Y and comma, it will expand your code. Um, but I, I did not like it. So I change it to comma comma, which is easy for me. So whenever I, um, I'm done with my abbreviation string, I just hit comma, comma, and it will expand the code for me. And as long as you're not in the CSV file, <laughs> you're all okay. Of course, I'm, I'm working in HTML. <laughs> so, CSV doesn't uh, have any problem with that. The next one is Vim Clause Tag. Uh, again, I'm, I'm working a lot on web, so it, it's good for me. It provides auto close tag support for HTML. So, if you have a, if you write div and when you close your bracket, angle bracket, and it will just put a dash closing bracket close div tag at the end. Yeah, so you don't have to write it. So it's like uh, you're working in subline two or subline <laughs> or some other IDE which has this kind of uh, functionality. Configuration, yes, you require to add. This particular line, I just copied it from the config uh, that documentation. What and I assume that I mean I, I understand it. Whatever the file ends with HTML, XHTML is supported. And I'm working in template toolkit, so I definitely add that. So it work work charm charm for me. Okay, so let's have a demo. Guys can see okay. I can just move on. Oh, we can. It's okay if you if you can zoom in. I think it's because then you can see all. You can just hit Command that. Plus. Yeah. Command Plus doesn't work. I tried. Oh really? Oh, oh that's too bad. Okay, so first we will try node tree. How you can get, you can see my VM. Yeah. How fancy it is. <laughs> and you can see I used a default system VIM, which is 7.3. And you got that, okay, Neo Complete does not support, does not work on this version. So what I have to do is I just have to do Vim, which will call the newer version 7.4. So a much nicer error message than a lot of other plugins. When when they encounter a broken an older version of Vim, they usually just <laughs> send out thousands of errors. So so 
I made a simple file which I can show you uh, for demo purpose. So if you want to um, turn on the nerd tree, you can do it by default and put a little, little configuration line from their con uh, their documentation to 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 your VMAC file, and it will open every time when you log when you open the bin. I don't like that, so I did not put that line into my VMAC file. But to use that, you have to be uh, case. This is case sensitive, so it should be not tree toggle. You cannot uh, use this in small characters, and it will open the. And you can use your uh, arrow keys and enter return key to just open the hierarchy and close the hierarchy, move around to your hierarchy. So if you go, if you want to go up, so that's up directly, and that's my cursor. You just hit and enter a uh, return, and it will take you to the. So let's say if I want to go to my public directory, I just go there. Uh, there is nothing in the Dropbox. So bad example. Pub by lib like that. To quit out from here because when uh, I always confuse how to quit from one screen <laughs> to get back to on my editor. So I want to show you that. Q. Press Q and you are out of the node tree. This is good. I haven't utilized it a lot, but this is good. You can have you can read their configuration and documentation. They have really good documentation. So you can utilize it more. Um, I set it up so I just have a separate separate command when I want to go to the nerd tree. So I just yeah. Little, little That's right. File. You can do it. You can and do it. That way I have a choice. That's right. I don't have to type that nerd tree toggle. Yeah. Um, the next one is nerd commenter. So to do that, just go to uh, visualize mode, select what whatever you want to comment and uncomment out. Then hit the letter key for me. It's a backward slash, backward slash she and space, and it will just comment everything. Out. If you want to do uh, uncomment again, select whatever you want to uncomment. Use the letter key C and space. And it worked fine, like a charm. Um, is there a way to get it to put a, a space in as well? Yeah. A pound sign in a space? Not pound sign, it's in normal mode. I mean, in visualized mode, you just uh, hit um, letter key. For me, it's a backward slash. Yeah. C, word, character C, and space. And it will take care of it. And it will put a pound sign in a space? No. Oh, is there a way to get it to comment with? Leave a space after the comment character. No, I, I, maybe they, they maybe they have some 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 map key mappings okay. for that. This is I'm just showing you one very okay. common, okay. but they have plenty of them. Mm -hmm. You can do nesting, uh, comment comment to the nesting loops and all that stuff. They mm -hmm. have really good um, key mappings for that. Um, I'll I'll show you how how they comment. Uh, in HTML, you have to comment the code in one comment block. Um, they also do line by line commenting. They also do the entire code in one comment block. And so you have HTML and close HTML tag. You just comment everything out. So they have some mapping. I'll show you when we go into the HTML. Uh, HTML file. Uh, also, uh, let me show you here uh, the Neo complete. So if you Again, if you see user, it will just pop up the option for me. Uh, of, of bin and pop. That's amazing. So what, what uh, do you have to do to, to make it autocomplete? You hit the letter? It's so necessary. I have to go to that particular uh, um, option okay. and hit enter. And it will complete for me. Um, it's not about the file. Uh, it will not I I look into your file structure, uh -huh. but it will also look into your file itself. It's not just look into the file structure. It, it will more more than um, of the file structure, reading the file structure. So let's say you you have hash hash. Uh, if you um, type it again, it will pop that out too. 
So it will also look for a particular word in, in, inside your in, inside your file itself. If you're bringing other files, will it do it no. for that? No. So this is um, Neo complete. Um, then now we will we will see what we can do with Mmet. Okay, so let's say we don't have anything here. Okay. Now, um, I don't have anything, but they have snippet, uh, little snippets. There are, um, you can say, abbreviation there you can use. If I want to make a, a basic structure of HTML, what I want to do, uh, what I have to do, okay, HTML type HTML5 and comma, comma, and it will expand <laughs> the entire uh, nice. HTML flow code block. This is one good example of that. Um, let's say I'm working on a Bootstrap 3 framework because I'm, I'm using it, so I'm using that example. I have lots of divs and I also have lots of paragraphs, page headings and all that stuff. How can I do that um, with a little abbreviations? So I have to do uh, what HTML uh, tag you want to use, div, how, I mean you have to specify class or IDs to that. Okay, I want to have a class row that has, this div has child which has class of column one plus which because this is, th these are the siblings to that and the child to the uh, the first div. Div, and I, I want a class, another column, uh, column two, and if I expand it, it will just expand. You can think about this, if you have bullet points <laughs> and you have plenty of li tags, what you will do, um, it's, I don't remember the exact abbreviation line, but you just uh, multiply the li tag with the, the number which you want. Like if you have one five li or six li tags, just multiply it and it will just expand the entire code. Think of that. Uh, and you can do numerous things. They have video on it and um, they have website on it and they have video put on their website and it's awesome. So, so I understand correctly that you're one of the developers of this. No, I'm not a developer. Oh. I'm just a user. Ah. <laughs> okay, so back to the nerd commenter. Um, you can see, so this is like a nesting nesting thing. Um, I mean, a head meta is nested inside the head tag like that. And if you want to comment that thing, go to the visualize. Oh, I'm sorry. Go to in visual mode, select whatever you want to select, I mean comment out and use again letter key CM and it will just comment the entire code. If I do undo and if I do, a, uh, I want um, comment out a single line, I mean not single line, every line individually, then I just hit letter key C and space and it will comment a single line. You can do multiple things with this mapping keys. You just, I haven't read all of them, but I found this tool useful for me. So, so, so I just showed you that. Um, let's talk about the um, delimit mate, which is auto completion of your uh, quotes, parentheses, and uh, bracket, um, and quote, what quote, parentheses, and brackets. No, bracket, parentheses are brackets. Braces? Mm -hmm. Braces. Braces. Any, braces. Any pairs. Braces and brackets. Brackets are the solid and the... Okay, so if I want to... Um, That's American. In England, quotes are braces. I mean, parentheses are braces in England. Because the English don't matter. <laughs> huh. Don't get me started on the English. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's start. Uh, if I want another... You already see that it's already auto-complete the, 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 the angle bracket for me. If I want HTML and if I want class, okay. If I have and if I double quotes, then it will auto complete. So this is useful. I don't have to type <laughs> the uh, say uh, inverted. I I don't have to finish the inverted commas and uh, brackets and all. So it just take care of it. The problem is it uh, interferes with the uh, Vim auto close tag. 
because we want to close that how it works is you have to uh, close the bracket then and then only it will complete the tag but this um, if you already have um, uh, if you already close your tag I mean if you already have an angle bracket it will not auto complete it because um, that uh, delimit made auto completes your brackets and you don't put that bracket again by yourself then auto close tag will never complete your tag but if, if you do it manually it will do it so whenever you choose your plugin this is what i learned from plugins try to be use minimal plugins first reason your vim get loaded a lot and it will take more time to launch the other thing uh, you don't understand I mean what you what I usually do is I copy and paste the stuff from that uh, configuration file to my Vim RCM and try to use it so sometimes Vim uh, the plugins are config to each other because they are using the same or maybe they are sharing the same thing so it doesn't work for you so be careful when you use the Vim, Vim plugins a lot more thing to do but you know, sometimes it, it screw your life it happens to me <laughs> So I'm just giving you uh, 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 suggestions on that, and that's it from from me for today. Probably I took a long time. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, one thing. The, the the pace style was really cool. I didn't know there was a built-in setting for that. <laughs> I actually think I I wrote I wrote a mapping to sit there and go toggle it for me, I didn't realize I apparently didn't have to do that. I think the built-in one works better than most of those mappings. 